Hi everyone, this is Marie Elaine and I have this week's video for you. So the new format seems to be um, some insights that I gleaned during the week and I've got a really good one this week. <laughs> this week. Um, some cards to share and also show you what I've been up to with art and other little bits and pieces. So I hope you'll stay with me uh, to the end of this video. Um, I have a one of my rocks to give away to somebody, but I'll explain more about that at, um, at the end of this video. So, what happened this week? Oh, really exciting event, but there's a little bit of a backstory, so I have to share to, to clarify the significance of this message. So, every week inside a Facebook group that I'm a member of, we choose a manifesting item. Um, something that someone randomly selects and we're on the lookout. We put it out there to the universe to say, okay, reflect back to me my personal power and show me how I can manifest this. And of course, we've done the butterflies and the angels and the dragonflies and all sorts of um, beautiful creatures. And last week we chose to do I am affirmations because whatever follows the, those two powerful words I am will become. Like, for example, I am beautiful, I am successful, I am ambitious, whatever you choose to do. But too often, we as human beings <laughs> do the opposite and go, oh, I'm ugly, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, whatever, you get the drift. So, that was going along really well. Everybody inside the community was finding all these beautiful I am affirmation statements and I was celebrating with their successes and it was so good and so uplifting we decided to do it for two weeks. And on Tuesday night I had the honour of meeting Janet, somebody who I met through YouTube a couple of years ago and it was just lovely to be able to sit there face to face. It felt like I've known Janet forever. And as we sat down, she said to me, Marie Elaine, I've got a gift for you. And she opened up her bag and she pulled out, I kid you not, some affirmation cards. Oh, it's a little bit backward here. And it was 52 I am vibrational cards. And I just went goosebumpy all over. And of course I laughed. And I said, thank you, universe. Um, because that's how things work. What we want will come to us when we don't offer resistance. But, but too often we, we human beings, we over-desire something. We want to manifest something that's going to take away um, from us our pain or, or whatever it is. Like for example, um, maybe you're looking for a, a baby. You've decided that you want to have a baby and you've put it out there that you want a baby but all of a sudden after a couple of months of trying no baby and all of a sudden we start to go oh my god maybe I can't get pregnant whatever the scenario is and we put too much focus on the fact that we don't have that child that it will sometimes block it from coming in now that's just a very loose example and there's, a, there's lots of other specifics that go behind the scene but anyway you get my drift that's what I was trying to to create but when we put a request out to the universe with no strings attached, no resistance, it can come in very quickly. And again, as humans, we tend to go to the other extreme and we notice all, or what we don't want. We're pretty good at putting out to um, our intentions about what we don't want to manifest and hello, guess what flies in? But anyway, that's my story for the week. That was Murray Lane's insight and I'm really happy to share that with you um, because what we focus on without resistance will manifest. So with that knowledge, go joyfully throughout the day. After you've seen this message, just practice that I am statement and really trust that whatever you're speaking and stating to the universe will actually come. Okay, so now onto the cards. So on the Facebook page last week or during the week, I shared a number of choices, one to five. And I noticed that I was a little bit hasty in trying to share the messages um, last time that I didn't actually allow the people who hadn't seen those choices to partake. So I'm going to allow you a moment to think of a number, one to five, any number, you might want to. Just see what comes to you. Allow the universe to guide you to a message that's going to help answer some, um, some question that you might have holding in your heart or you're seeking um, validation or clarification on. So have you got a number? 
you can have two, you can have three, you can have all five. It doesn't matter what feels right for you. I've also got angel numbers attached to each choice and I've even gone one step further and I've reduced those angel numbers down to one digit. So totally up to you after the video. I will leave the link in the video description for the Angel Scribes Index. Jump on there, click on your choice and then if you want to get that powerful single digit number as well, read what the universe has in store for you. And the other thing that came to me, whilst I put those cards down and I put one to five, um, it doesn't really matter what that card was at that time, I just used it for, um, for photography purposes. Today I'm going to be calling upon these cards as I speak. Let's see what comes out. And I feel that whatever card you were drawn to is the universe guiding you to take notice of that vibrational essence and really practice the feeling of what the message has for you. Okay, so let's go with card number one. What's the first one that the universe would like you to know? So if you're drawn to card number one, it is, oh, okay, I am living in, living my human, I'll start again, reading some, I think, I am living my human life. My energy is the perfect vibration. Okay, so I feel that this message is asking you to just know that you are okay as you are right now. You do not need to change anything other than your beliefs. You are a perfect vibrational human being right now. So here we go again. I am living my human life. My energy is the perfect vibration. Can you see that? Okay, that's for you. And look at that beautiful light that's coming from the chest, the heart. So that's put love out, receive love back. You are perfect as you are right now. Number two, I am vibrationally worthy and value the greatness my world brings to me. Oh, I think this one was for me. <laughs> um, okay, so if you were drawn to number two, I feel that this is a energy of worthiness, that you are absolutely worthy of everything that the universe can to deliver to you and what you put out there of a positive nature. And I know we are masters of creating what we don't want. I've already mentioned that. This time you are worthy of creating all the love and the abundance and the joy and the happiness that um, you can do. Now, I'm going to just stop there for a little bit because I just want to say we have to feel the essence of what we're stating. It's okay just to stay, say that over and over again, but unless we actually feel it, um, it won't come to us. So, But I'll expand on that at the end of these cards. Here comes number three. Oh, I am the bliss of fulfillment that gratifies my vibration. So this is the one of joy, I feel. This is the one of celebration. So imagine yourself really celebrating a positive outcome, something that you've been wanting to manifest and you finally cracked the code and you've done it. So here we go again. I am the bliss of fulfillment that gratifies my vibration. Number four. I am vibrationally in tune with the rhythm of being. Okay. Vibrationally tuned. So I think this is stating that you are in harmony. That's the vibrational essence that we are aiming to help you achieve, that you are in harmony with the flow of life. That, you know, release anxiety and worry. That's what just came to me. So that's yours. I am vibrationally in tune with the rhythm of being. And here we go, number five. I am focused and confident in my magnificent vibration. Okay, so this one, is all about um, you know, speaking your your words with confidence and and love and know that your voice does matter that your opinion is is worthy of being heard now everybody has opinions doesn't mean that they're right or wrong it's just your view on life and that's okay and you can share that and it and those who are listening to your opinion should listen with non-judgment and perhaps um, open dialogue, start a conversation. So I am focused and confident in my magnificent vibration. 
Okay, so there are the cards. I'll upload a picture of those. Now, here comes the numbers. Card number one. The number was 52. And that reduces down to a number seven. So if you feel inspired for additional meaning to your choice today, go to the Angel D Index number listing, look up 52 and seven. Card number two, your number was 3182. 3182, and that reduces to number five. Card number three is 410 or 410. And that also reduces to a number five. Card number six, seven, eight, nine. And that reduces to a number six. And the final card, number five, is two, six, two, nine, which reduces to number one. So feel free to look up those numbers and their meanings and see how it relates to you. So before I forget, something that I'd love for you to practice you know, um, something that often crosses my mind that when you watch um, somebody receiving an, an accolade or an award, particularly, you know, sporting achievements like the Olympics when people win gold medal or they, they've re reached the pinnacle of what they've really been striving for. And that elation, that joy of actually achieving that milestone. I think that's something that we have to practice as human beings close our eyes and feel what that joy would be like. Feel that elation of really achieving that outcome that you're really truly desiring because I think if you can really tap into that energy and feel it without any doubt, that's when what you're wanting will actually flow to you. So let's, if you're watching this video with me, all practice that and I'll check in with you next week to see how things have gone for you. Okay, so now let's switch into the art place, which I'm really happy to share with you. So what have I done this week? Probably not a lot, because I've been a little bit distracted with other events. Um, as you know, I'm right into Shopify. I'm loving the whole learning of that whole process. And my aim is, please leave, leave a comment if this um, resonates with you. I actually, um, in my early 50s, found myself at a brand new cycle of life. Virtually everything that I had was taken from me through my choice, through my choice. And I was given the opportunity of having to start again from scratch. And I thought, hmm, a lot of people might find themselves at that gateway. And so for the last five years, I've been teaching myself, how can I start something again when you have nothing? And I can see that can be done very easily with the internet. And you can actually, when I say easily, it takes time and commitment and a willingness to learn. And what I'd like to do is empower other people who may find themselves in that situation where you're starting again and you don't have a lot of resources, how you can create something for yourself by investing your time and focus, but you don't need a lot of money to get this off the ground. Okay, so if you're interested, um, I'm happy to share, and I might even start a special fa Facebook forum just for that purpose. But anyway, back to the art. I created this. This is my golden transformation dragonfly. It came to me very quickly. Last Sunday I was sitting here, and I, thought, I actually painted the rock. I was a little bit of a blurb on the back and I wasn't that delighted with the colour and I thought what can I do so next phase came the black and then I thought oh I'll put a dragonfly on there because the significance of dragonfly is the releasing of a burden unlike a butterfly which is the ultimate transformation change dragonfly also has that similar context but it, it really is a burden that's been released and it lightens it makes you feel lighter so that you're Got more movement, more freedom. So that's what this is all about. It's the golden transformation. And then, um, as I mentioned about the Shopify um, journey or experience, I'm actually teaching um, people that I work with. They're, they're curious, and so I thought I'd pay it forward and share my knowledge. And we have started another Shopify store, which isn't open quite yet. And it's all about, you know, cute things, cute animal products, cute drawings, cute things. And so 
Yesterday I sat here and I drew my little cutie cat. Um, he's a work in progress. And then I did another one. Let's play. So it's just doing. It's just actually getting some sort of inspiration and then following through. So I just realized this video is almost 15 minutes. Wow, <laughs> I'm really chatting today. So if any of what I have shared with you resonates, please leave a comment. You can reach me on Facebook. I've got two pages. You can message me. Um, if you're really interested in, you know, learning about, you know, how you can actually create a new beginning using the power of the internet. I'm not selling you anything. I'm just helping. That's my goal. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Um, this rock. Now, I'm happy to, sh to give this one away to somebody. All I ask is that you just visit my Spirit Art page and leave a comment on something that you think is really quite appealing or just to say, I really like that design, Murray Lane, because reviews will help me get that out there into Cyberland and that's one of the, um, the challenges of actually having an e-commerce store. They're great, there's thousands of them out there, but it's actually you know, getting it seen. So if you would help me, I'm happy, to, very happy to gift that to somebody and I'm happy to pay for the shipping wherever you are in the world. If you would like that, just leave a review on um, the Spirit Art page uh, and I'll pass that over to someone. Okay, thank you very, very much. I love sharing my insights with you. Thank you for, um, for watching and if you're still here at the end, well done. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.